In this video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to use glass snippers. So um, if you're right-handed, you're gonna hold them like this. If you're left-handed, like this. You always want the blades facing in. The blades themselves are not sharp, so you don't need to worry about cutting yourselves on these. Of course, you don't wanna like stick your finger in there and get pinched, but they're not, they're not a dangerous tool. The further back you hold on the handle definitely gives you more leverage and makes the glass cut easier. So if your hand's up here, you might feel like it's not working very well. Try first just backing up and that usually helps quite a bit. We're gonna practice on some um, stained glass, but we have a variety of all different types of tiles. They all have their own personality, um, but these general tips that we're gonna show you guys today will work on all of them. It's good to cut over a plate just to catch everything. And first I'm just gonna show you how to nip safely. So if you place your tile in there, before you squeeze, um, you wanna make sure that you're protecting everyone that's sitting around you. You don't need to cover yourself because the glass is never gonna fly back towards you. It's gonna to tend to go that way and that way. So right before you squeeze, you wanna cup your hand around the glass so that it falls down and doesn't go out like that. Another way you can do it also is you can place the glass in there and then you can put your hand and hold each side of the glass and that, that will also keep it from flying out. So that's just you know how to keep everyone safe. Now I wanna show you guys a couple of more specific um, techniques so you can get the shapes that you're hoping for. In general, when you want a straight cut, the more centered on the piece of glass you are, the more straight of a cut you're gonna get. So when I say that, I mean the area of the nipper that kind of pinches together, I want that to be the most centered in the tile that I can have it be. Not here, I can't always get all the way up, but I'm, I'm as centered as I can be, and that should give me a fairly straight cut. Another, um, problem that you may come up with is maybe you want a straight cut but you only want a quarter of this tile. So if I cut, if I nip right here, I'm actually pretty off center so I'm going to get a slight curve. So if I, I want this quarter piece, I'm actually going to start in the middle. I'll cut that. Then you can see I have a, a fairly straight cut. Then I'll take that and now I can cut that in the center and that will give me again a pretty straight cut. So that's how you get um, Straight cuts that are thinner is you start in the middle and then cut in the middle and then cut in the middle of that. And that's your best, best bet at getting a straight cut. Now, if you want curved cuts, you do um, the opposite. The more off center you cut, the more of a curve you're gonna get. So if I start way over here, I'm gonna get that kind of cool wave in the glass. And then if I go right up against the edge again, I'm gonna keep getting the same kind of shapes, which are really nice for a lot of um, organic um, mosaics like grass, waves, all sorts of things, sun rays, these work really nice. And these, these pieces do get sharp, they're pointy, so be careful with those. Um, so that's how you get those kind of waves. If you want sharper curves, you can go more like to the corner and you'll get sharp little corner pieces like that. So that's another fun shape. And if you do want to get outer curves, say like a, um, like a petal shape, for example, that you actually have to use a trash can or some other bin to, because you basically have to chip away. So I'll show you how to do that. Give me one second to get a bin. It's right here. So if I want to create a petal shape, first I'm gonna cut off the excess bits of glass. So I get a little closer to my shape. Then you have to cut inside of a bin and you just keep kind of chiseling away until you start to get the curve that you want. Like that. And you're cutting it in the bin to protect the shards from flying? Yes, because you need to use both hands in order to hold your piece and nip. So therefore you need something else to catch all of the flying glass. And those are some, some basic um, tips to get you going.